Carmine says Tuesday. Can't make that. Wednesday's out for Gail, so I won't go. You gotta go. How's the light? It's like new. Yeah? How about another mile? It's kind of late. And five miles is as much as you old guys can handle. Yeah, bring it on, Kip Tanya. Yeah. You OK? It's a cramp. You go on. There's a water fountain. I right? said Here's... go. Name's Andy Corvo. This poor slob decided to tack an extra mile onto his morning run. <laughs> That's the thing I never understood about this whole running thing. Why run if you can walk to it? Well, it gets your heart started. Or, in the case of this guy, it brings you to a stop. Wait, hold on, Schmidt. You ruined breakfast for a heart attack? You know, Nelson? Who doesn't? Yeah, well, he's the first officer on the scene, right? It turns out he drinks a whole thermos of coffee waiting for EMS to show. When they finally get there, he's uncomfortable, if you catch my drift. What, are we in the third grade? So he comes over to these bushes to take care of business. Imagine his surprise when he looks down. Whoa, whoa, Ed. Did he see the body before or after he did his business? He never got his zipper down. Why? Looks like a single shot to the head. Very observant. <laughs> if I had to guess, uh, 38. You ain't had enough coffee today? Hey, don't knock it, Ed. If it wasn't for Nelson's bladder, she could have been here till Arbor Day. Very funny. Anyway, the M.E. says she's newly deceased, 10 to 12 hours. Her name's Anna Bersenio, lives up in Washington Heights. Well, the way she's dressed, I doubt she was out here for a run. If she was, she didn't run fast enough. I always made sure we had flowers. We're sorry for your loss, Mr. Bersenio. She said the smell reminded her when she was little and lived in a better place. Where was that? It reminded her of her mom's house in San Juan. Sometimes she wanted to move back there. But I always said no. When's the last time you saw your wife? Yesterday in the morning when she left for work around 7, like always. She's a kick press operator at Geyer. What's that? A jewelry factory. She makes findings. I work security at the warehouse out in Long Island City. I was drinking coffee and watching the news. She kissed me goodbye. Did she say she was going out after work? Where would she go? You weren't concerned when she didn't come home? I work nights. A lot of the times I leave before she gets home, but she leaves before I get home. She used to say that she helped the big shots make money during the day, and I kept an eye on it at night. Only neither of us got a piece of the action. You private dicks are nothing at all like in those books I read. Those do solve cases. In real life, you just annoy people. Hey, even I dress better than a P.I. So what made you think we were for hire? Raph's wife, talk about paranoid. She had a couple of guys snooping around after him. <laughs> she always thought he was catting around. Was he? If he did, he hit her right. I didn't hear word one about it. He was here last night? We did our shift together. He walked the halls and I clocked the computers. Quiet night all around. What about lunch break? You go anywhere for that? Not many places you want to go at 4 in the morning, at least for food. We ordered a pizza and had it delivered and ate it in the back room. Box is still in the fridge with the leftovers. You think a rap did something wrong? Should we? I'd hate to think so. Comes off as a decent guy, a big baseball fan. Loves the Mets. Always listen to their games on the radio in the summer. Married and a Mets fan. He's a glutton for punishment. Hmm. Go Yankees. She's the one cheating, and she hires a P.I. to tail him. That makes sense. We don't know if she was cheating. Hey, if you're meeting a friend for dinner, do you tell a perfect stranger that she's your wife? Maybe if he was a former husband. From personal experience, I can tell you, former husbands refer to former wives as their ex, at least in mixed company. Unless the former husband wants to get back in the picture. Here she is, Anna Briseño, maiden name Carranza, married once. That's it? In this state, eight years ago. Take a run at her social security number. Here's one you don't see every day. Share it. The SS number is issued to a woman named Marcella Salaya. So she changed her name? Who died 10 years ago. 